Hi everyone. Today our experiment is the study of hydraulic brakes system along with component and its layout. Now before starting the hydraulic brake system, first of all you know the braking system. The braking system depend upon the friction between moving parts and stationary part for their stopping force. The braking system provide the added friction to overcome motion and to slow up or to stop the vehicle. The mom momentum or the kinetic energy depend upon the vehicle when it motion is converted to heat energy by the friction of brake shoe and drum which is dissipate into the surrounding air. Braking efficiency is the ratio between the retarding force and the weight of the vehicle. It is expressed as a percentage. Now the classification of brake. Basically, brakes are classified in automotive sector are three types. One is mechanical brake, hydraulic brake and last one is power brake or pneumatic brake. If you first, if you see the mechanical brake the brake this brake which are operate mechanically by means of lever and linkage paddle cam and bell crank etc so the mechanical brake are employed in older day but now a hydraulic and other type of brakes system braking systems are used in automotive sector mechanical brake you may nowadays some mechanical brake system are there like handbrake system which is What is hydraulic brake system? Brakes which are operated by means of hydraulic pressure are known as hydraulic brakes. In a hydraulic brake system, when the brakes are applied, the pressure in increase sufficiently in the system to produce equal and uniform baking action on all the four wheel. The hydraulic brake function are the principle of Pascal's law. Now what is the law? The law said that the pa that the confined liquid transmit pressure intensity equally in all direction. This is the law of this is the Pascal's law. Now the multiplication of force in a hydraulic brake system is in two stage one is partially by mechanical linkage between paddle and master cylinder and second partially by hydraulic system of oil pressure transmit based on 
Pascal's law. Now, how the function of hydraulic brake system? Here is the picture of hydraulic brake system. This is push rod which is connected, which is already connected to the master cylinder piston and another side which is not shown here is also connected to the brake paddle. This is the master cylinder those are the brake lines and which is also goes to the wheel cylinder here is the picture this is the hydraulic brake system basically this that type of system are shown all the automotive cars most of the automotive cars you have been you might be shown and here is the picture this is the paddle and this is the linkage that is called push rod that is boot that is boot section then this is the servo brake then uh, these are the master cylinder those now this this that type of here is this picture the master cylinder the construction of the master cylinder here is it shown there are two piston so if there is two piston and two chamber but the linkage here same that type of construction you may call tendon master cylinder and here the pistons are arranged in line position so it's called inline inline cylinder so the the tendon master cylinder is another name is inline master cylinder now here those port there are two outlet port one port is go to the front side that means front wheel side and another port that means another braking line are goes to the rear wheel side and some combination valve are there some now now the construction of the brake see the front section we may call digs brake and the rear section you may call drum brake now the function of the hydraulic brake system basically the hydraulic brakes system consists of four wheel one at each of four wheel of the vehicle the system also consists one master cylinder and which is connect to the wheel cylinder by steel tube okay now when the brake are applied see is the, if you see the when the brake are applied what happened on the disc brake section if you see the disc brake section the fluid 
of the master cylinder is force into a caliper where it press against where is press against piston the piston in turn or squeeze two brake pad here is this is called brake pad so against the disc rotor so when is push the piston to the rotor uh, to the pad against the disc rotor which is attached to the wheel and forcing it to slow down and stop this is the basic construction of disc brake and if you see the drum brake section that is called rear wheel section the fluid is forced into the wheel cylinder so here is the picture this is this is the wheel cylinder and those are the shoe is this those are called shoe so this is this those one and two both are shoe connected to the wheel cylinder now here is the picture two pistons are there which is connected to the inner spring in spring and also which is when the fluid is forced into the wheel wheel cylinder which pushes the which pushes the brake shoe out which pushes the brake shoe out so that the friction lining are pass against the drum which is attached to the wheel and causing the wheel to stop now here is the hydraulic brake system some fluid some special fluid are used in this system that brake fluid is designed to withstand the cold temperature without thinking as well as very high temperature without boiling so brake fluid must meet the standard that are set by the department of transmo that is dot it current standard is dot 3 nowadays the brake fluid are use dot 3 some of the luxurious or modern car are use dot 4 some european car you might be seen are use dot 4 now what are the property of the brake fluid are required basically the brake fluid are low viscosity oil it is used to conventional and 
बूस्टर हाइड्रोलिक ब्रेक सिस्टम आल्सो यूज बेस्ड ऑन द पास्केल्स लॉ इट सर्व्स इक्वल गुड ब्रेक कोयल रिक्वायर्ड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हाई बॉइलिंग पॉइंट इट रिक्वायर्ड हाई बॉइलिंग पॉइंट इट शुड बी हाई बॉइलिंग पॉइंट सेकेंड बेटर लुब्रिकेंट एबिलिटी इट शुड बी लेस वेरिएशन ऑफ विस्कोसिटी एंड इट शुड बी लो करोशन ऑल्सो now going to the comp component of braking system here the component of disc brake systems are disc caliper friction pad and the component of drum brake systems are backing plate brake drum wheel cylinder brake shoe automatic self adjustment or adjuster and plus to one parking or emergency brake now the picture is disc brake component here is the picture the disc brake component the disc brake system this one is called rotor or disc this is pad this is shim or pad shim this is made by steel steel sheet this is piston boot this one is piston and this is piston seal this component is called caliper or caliper unit this is caliper pin this one is called bleeder screw this one is the pad clip and this is a mounting bracket so now the rotor if you see the rotor it is made by that is called disc and which is made by high grade of gray cast iron for better which is which is better wear resistance property when and the disc is rotate with the car wheel is efficiency cool as most of its area lies exposed and the friction pad that is called friction pad this pad are made of asbestos fiber and metal oxide filler bo filler bonded with organic compound each pad each pad is fixed to a steel plate <coughs> that has to take torque during braking on the caliper the pad may be the pad may be square or rectangle or oval or s 
<coughs> the size of the piston is the made the same as that of pad to avoid noise during breaking and this one is the rubber seal or rubber boot which is prevent the dust and moisture to enter the piston housing now going to the drum brake component here is the drum <coughs> brake drum and inside the brake drum some component are there this one is a shoe there is two shoe one is leading and another is trailing shoe this one is the wheel cylinder and this one this shoe is holded by the holding pin with spring all the component are attached to the backing plate so if you see the picture you minutely see that this is this is the wheel cylinder this is backing plate this one is the adjuster this is the parking brake lever this component is called parking brake lever this is trailing and this is leading shoe this is return spring and this one is the parking brake cable and if you see the shoe say so there is the picture of brake shoe upper part of this called brake lining and this is called friction metal that is called lining upper part is called lining this one is brake drum this is the wheel hub and uh, will will bearing at there and this is stud that is wheel stud the tire are fix in this area uh this one is the front brake system this is big brake system this is the called brakes or rotor this is hub which is connected to the rotor and the wheel is connected to the hub this is uh, caliper unit now if you see the brake pad are inside to the caliper unit and this is piston wheel cylinder this piston and this one is the wheel cylinder so caliper unit are Our caliper unit are com uh, are combined with wheel cylinder. <coughs> this is the bendy pry, and this one is the flexible flexible hose, which is goes to the wheel cylinder also. So in the brake coil, in the brake well comes it goes to the two holes it come goes to the wheel cylinder this is the bleeder screw and this is the caliper pin now then 
when I open the unit you are also see the whole component minutely and rear section this is the drum drum unit most of the heavy vehicles or rear wheel drive car to see the rear section or drum unit most of the modern vehicles are replace the drum unit and all four wheel are discs now come to the drum unit this is the wheel cylinder this is the returning spring and this is the shoe this one and this one shoe this is the brake line which is go to the master cylinder also now i will open the maruti 800 and show it <laughs> 